Good morning children Sai Ram Now we are going to start today chapter 3 an earthquake in Assam by Ruskin Bond Children before starting this chapter I just want to ask a simple and small question from you from you all do you all know who is Ruskin Bond Ruskin Bond is a famous writer author as well as narrator he is a Indian he is an Indian writer of British de- descent so children before starting the chapter let's have a look on the new words first calamity second approach third flapped fourth tedious fifth drowned sixth battered seventh interruptions eighth ventured children your homework is to make sentence from the words given in the previous slides with the help of a dictionary i repeat with the help of a dictionary and these homeworks this the homeworks which have been given to you all children i repeat and give you this instruction again you have to make a practice notebook for english as well as social science two different notebooks and there over you have to do this homework moving ahead about the author ruskin bond ruskin bond as i told was an author of british descent he is considered to be an icon among indian writers he is known as the children's author as well now why children's author as well because he has written numerous stories or you can say short stories preferably fables for children taking help from mother nature that is the theme of ruskin bond's story have always been nature they are always taking or imbibing help inspiration from mother nature ruskin bond wrote his first no- novel the room on the roof when he was only 17 years old ruskin bond has written over 500 short stories and articles he received the sahitya academy award padma padma shri award and the delhi government's lifetime achievement award children ruskin bond has been a very famous writer though he could not live in india he when he was a small child as a small kid only he shifted he was shifted from india to abroad let us understand what actually is storytelling see children when we talk about storytelling in childhood also as well you might have gone through with storytelling competitions but indeed what actually storytelling means children storytelling means how you are conveying a small message or a notice to the community it is not about what content you are writing it is about what are you writing about content doesn't means that you are writing a story too long without any idea without any basic storytelling means what message do you want to deliver to the society in this story the chapter 3 earthquake in assam the narrator is a small child and he is discussing, uh, discussing about the woes and wheels the woes and wheels of the place where he lives and what change of nature does he faces ahead so children let's start up with the reading this is the third chapter of your english textbook earthquake in assam if ever there is a calamity grandmother used to say it will find grandfather in his bath grandfather loved his bath which he took in a large round aluminium tub and sometimes spent as long as an hour in it wallowing as he called it and splashing around like a boy he was in his bath during the earthquake that convulsed bengal and assam on 12 june 1897 it was so severe that even today the region of the great brahmaputra basin 
hasn't settled down not long ago it was reported that the entire shillong plateau had moved an appreciable distance away from the brahmaputra towards the bay of bengal according to the geological survey of india this shift has been taking place gradually over the past 90 years so children these are the introducing introducing lines or the opening lines of the chapter here over the narrator is telling us about a person who is lying in his bathtub now who is this person who is lying in his bathtub he is the grandfather of the narrator the narrator says and has given a hint about earthquake he starts that if there is going to be any calamity any calamity is going to approach so that calamity will find grandfather in his bathtub only nowhere else had grandfather been alive he would have added one more clipping to his scrap book on the earthquake the clipping goes in any way because the scrap book is now with the children more than newspaper accounts of the disaster it was grandfather's own letters and memoirs that made the earthquake seem recent and vivid for he along with grandmother and two of their children one of my father was living in chillong a picture skew little hill station in assam when the earth shook and the mountains heaved as i mentioned grandfather was in his bath splashing about and did not hear the first rumbling but grandmother was in garden hanging out or taking in the washing when suddenly the animals began making a hideous noise and a sure intimation of a natural disaster for animals sense the approach of an earthquake much more quickly than humans the crows all took wing wheeling wildly overhead and cawing cawing loudly now what happened what has happened over in this set of lines the narrator is describing about the arrival of a natural calamity this natural calamity was the earthquake which took place in assam it hit bengal and assam on 12 june 1897 the geologists say that it was such a severe earthquake that still even till date the brahmaputra basin hasn't settled and there has been a continuous shifting drift in the bay of bengal or brahmaputra basin and that drift has continued till now from, from the last 90 years i repeat from the last 90 years he that is the narrator mentions that the grandfather he is talking about his grandfather was splashing about bath in a bathtub and he did not that is narrators who is he over here narrators grandfather did not notice any rumbling but on the contrary his grandmother narrators grandmother who was in the garden was hanging out hanging out means he was ta- she was actually taking out the wash clothes from the wires or the rope which were spread in the sunshine in for for the sake of drying she did not understand why the animals around her were making a hideous noise what is the meaning of hideous unpleasant noise that is all of a sudden the crows started going the flock that is the a group of hens they started chirping and they flapped in circles but she could not understand why the crows all took i repeat the line the crows all took wing wheeling wildly overhead and cawing loudly the chickens flapped in circles as if they were being chased two dogs sitting in the veranda suddenly jumped up and ran out with their tails between their legs within a half a minute of her noticing the noise made by animals grandmother heard a rattling rumbling noise 
like the approach of a train the noise increased for about a minute and then there was the first trembling of the ground the animals by this time seemed to have gone mad tree tops lashed backwards and forwards doors banged and windows shook and grandmother swore later that the house actually swayed in front of her what is the meaning of swayed move from side to side she had difficulty in standing straight though this could have been due more to the trembling of her knees than to the trembling of the ground now what is the scene that has been described over here that is the chickens were flapping in circles the dogs were sitting in a veranda suddenly jumped up and ran out between their between their legs with their tails they could not understand what has when what has happened with me, with them the grandmother thought that she was shirking with the pain in her knees but she did not understood that what was the actual condition or actual situation due to which these animals were reacting in such a weird manner in such a pathetic manner the only thing the only concept she understood that it was due to the some problem why what happened actually which hai created such a chaos amongst the creatures as well as the grandmother the only thing was that it was the arrival of an earthquake the earthquake the earthquake i repeat ha- had approach the narrator's hometown that is shillong the first shock lasted for a, about minute and a half I was in my tub having a bath. Grandfather wrote for poster- posterity. Posterity means all future generations. Which for the first time in the last two months I had taken in the afternoon instead of in the morning. My wife and children and the ayah were downstairs. Then the shock came accompanied by a loud rumbling sound under the earth. and a quaking which increased in intensity every second it was like putting many shells in a basket and shaking them up with a rapid shifting motion from side to side at first i did not realize what it was that caused my tub to sway about and the water to splash i rose up and found the earth heaving while the washstand basin sewer cups and glasses dance and rock about in the most hideous fashion hideous means to be a very unpleasant to be of an pleasant and unwelcomed i rushed to the inner door to open it and search for my wife and children but could not move the dratted doors and boxes furniture and plaster which had come against it the back door was the only way of escape i managed to burst it open and thank god was able to get out sections of the thatched roof had slithered down on the four sides like a pack of cards and blocked all the exits and entrances children now the earthquake had approached and the grandfather who was in the bathtub that narrator says that i was in my bathtub and he declares declares that the arrival of the earthquake was not so pleasant the wash basin the crockery the doors the windows each and every object started rattling it was as if it was an experience of shocking and surprising moment that is why is why it was shocking and surprising children because when the earthquake approaches the objects have the heavy the heaviest as well as the lightest objects start shivering they start shifting from one side to another <coughs> 
<coughs> sorry <coughs> they started shifting from one the object started dancing and due to due to the noise if the author, the narrator was totally confused as well as was in a dilemma he could not figure out as he was in the bad tub he thought that now god forbid how will i get out of this bad tub but somehow he managed to get come out of the back door and suddenly due to the rattling due to the mismatch of the doors the walls as well as the windows each and every section each and every segment of the house was blocked and somehow the narrator could he was able to come out of the bathroom children that is today that's it for today this is that's for the for the lecture one the next part that is the rest of the explanation we will do in the next class thank you and sairam